and welcome back to my channel the Welshman Reviews. This this video is going to be what I picked up this week. So it did pop out a few times, uh, once the Cardiff and then one around Swansea, Talbot, Lansamlet area around in, uh, where I live. And yeah, I picked up quite a few things this week to be honest. And probably the most I've picked up for a while because I, I have been a bit shy on picking up stuff lately. But I did part decks quite a bit in oh, a few things in... Uh, Kex, so I had a bit of money to play with there, so I bought quite a few things from Kex. Um, a couple of other things that you've seen I picked up from Zavi and um, HMV uh, online, and a couple of uh, and a few other things I picked up from Game and uh, a nice little statue from um, B and M as well. So I'll show you the ass uh, little thing of steel books and that. And that is the little figure I picked up. I know some might probably thought, or oh, it was probably the Marvel di diorama ones I wrote. There was a few nice ones out that I was having an hour in picking up. They did have a Old Man Logan. They did, and they had a Miles Morales that looked pretty good. But they had other ones like Rogue. Um, I saw a Hawkeye out. I saw a Skrull. Uh, Captain America I seen ones like that but I saw this predator figure and I, I couldn't resist picking this up pity they don't have the back three as well they didn't have the other two in there as well I would have picked all three up definitely but let's go down and we'll take a closer look so first off I what I picked up was a few Star Wars figures so I did pick up these in game in uh, Cardiff, you know, on the cheap, I think these were like two, these two were like six or seven pound each, and Ahsoka was like a ten or ten, eleven pound. And when I saw a young Han, there's no doubt you got to pick up Greedo as well. Very nice looking figures indeed. I got rid of the packaging, they, they didn't come in a box, it's more of a one you had to rip open if you had to get it out, so I had to bin all that. But yeah, very nice looking uh, thing, very good um, likeness on the face. And that, and very nicely uh, thing. So he does have the Stormtrooper belt, so this is probably hand more further off when he's on the Death Star. He is rescuing uh, Princess Leia. But, you know, another, you know, Grigo, uh, Greedo is looking very good as well. There's a little more hawk but there. It is. Little uh, fingers as well. Little suckers on him as well. It is. But, yeah, very nice looking figures. And I had to pick up a soaker as well to add to the Mandalorian ones that I bought. It is. She's looking very good as well. I do have to get the animated one because uh, that's a good looking figure as well. I've seen, I've, I've seen, I haven't seen out and about, but I've seen on the internet and that. But yeah, not the right color for her lightsabers. They're not blue. They're blue in the Clone Wars, the end of the Clone Wars uh, series. But they are white when she has them. So there's a little bit of a mistake there, to be honest, for them. But yeah, some nice uh, little figures I picked up beginning of the week. Then also in Cardiff, HMV, I picked up a couple of uh, vinyl, uh, vinyl, so the Tron uh, soundtrack for 1999, so not a bad price, come down quite a bit, to be honest. And don't judge me, I did pick up the Dirty Dancing 35th Anniversary one. I love this soundtrack, I think the songs are amazing, and yeah, had to get it, because they had 30% off the mark as well so it wasn't 29 got it lower than that it was so yeah definitely had to pick them two up as well and then i'll jump onto the figure straight away so we had a quick look at it so very nice looking thing nice box as well it comes with it a bit of more close-up uh, the other pictures so oh, i'll be on your lookout for them in the b m stores just in case they do come out but they did have quite a few i bought this in talbot one it is the cloaked one. They had a few of the cloaked ones in there, but none of the other two. I would have bought all three, like I said, if they were in there. So, very nice indeed. So, let's open this up quickly. And have a good little look. It does come with a nice little background. It does, of the jungle. Ugh. Bit of a bastard to get out, to be honest, but... I guess a bit of a better look at the background there inside the box. It is. So this is by Mini Epics by Weta Workshop. So very nice. 
also comes with a little stand and a booklet. So let's see how many they actually have in the collector's thing. So you get a little see-through base, so nothing special there. And you get a little booklet, the poster, so there's the three anymore. No, just pretty much what else they sell, to be honest. There is all other ones as well, but uh, yeah, the Fred the ones are the ones that I want to get. So, give me a sec, get my scissors, cut this little beast out. Good of that. Oh. See if I can. Well, that's not good. His things come off already. So let's get that off and throw that to one side. So, yeah, be a bit careful on this because you break one of them, it's broke. But that literally just came off. And did it break off? It did indeed. Oh, absolutely devastated. Broke off, but there it has, unfortunately. So, I'll have to. Uh, I'll have to get a bit of glue and glue that back on. I will. It doesn't look like it's too bad of a snap. I think a bit of super glue there and it'll glue back on perfectly. But let's have a little look at the figure. So very nice indeed. Cloaked uh, thing. Very nicely detailed as well. It is. The hair's a little bit fraying but I wouldn't mess around with it too much. Especially with the his, his claws as well. The thing. I wouldn't mess around with them. But that is a very, very nice looking figure. And yeah, I'm pretty glad that that just broke off. But lucky enough, I think it's going to be easy to glue back on. So I don't think it'll be that bad. It won't. But yeah, a bit gutted with that. Like I say, be careful when unboxing stuff. Just in case that happens. And then last but not least... The array of steel books and stuff I picked up. So, obviously, I'm not gonna show these ones off thing because obviously I did get yeah, Texas Chainsaw Massacre. That did my video for this did come out on Friday, and then earlier in the week I did do a video for both of the Batman, uh, Batman Forever and Batman and Robin to finish off that select, uh, section or that uh, collection. But there, so yeah, they are on my channel during the week. And then, last but not least, like I said, a few steel books. So, I'll start off what I picked up in Cardiff, which is Willow. Unfortunately, it's got the sticker on it. I've got to get that off, wipe them off. But a very nice looking steel book. Nothing else really wrong with it, to be honest, I think. But very nice indeed. I haven't watched this film for years. So, this will be a nice little rewatch in the coming week or so. And then I also bought All Quiet on the Western Front. They had a media book in it. And I didn't buy the new one yet. I don't really want to spend 35 quid on it. I don't. Hopefully it'll come down in price. But yeah. Got the original with the book, uh, media book as well. So very nice. And then I picked up these two in HMV. 215, the premium collection. So I'll wait until dark. It is... Nice little thriller by there, and the golden child who doesn't like a bit of Eddie Murphy. It is in his heyday, 80s, early 90s. It is. And then the ones I picked up in Swansea then, finished off using my uh, voucher. So I picked up Meg in pretty pretty good condition, just a few little light scratches on it. Just needs a bit of a wipe down, to be honest. It does, if the cord works, knock yourself out. But... A nice looking steel book. And I do enjoy this movie. Not as good as the books. The books are much better. And then on the back there. There it is. The books are. But this is an enjoyable movie. Which the second one. The Trench is supposed to be coming out this year. So we'll have to keep an eye out for that. And then District 9. This was like Fiver. It is a lovely looking steel book. It is an, an absolute brilliant movie. By Neil Blomk uh, Blomkist. It was, uh, but yeah, absolutely stunning steel book, and the gra the graphics on this, the VF, or not, it was probably cost a bit of money to make, but not like the big blockbusters and all that. And the visuals in this were absolutely amazing for what they uh, spent on the movie. 
it is. And then I got a rival as well. This one has a few more bit of light uh, marks on it, but it's still pretty much got it for, on, on the cheap. I did, and a brilliant movie again. It is, and I do like this uh, thing, a bit of the when the aliens are trying to speak, isn't it, communicate then. So I do like the steel steel book design on this. And there's the spaceship as well. So I haven't watched this for a while, so definitely going to be watching that again. Then Alien Covenant. This is the 4K one. So I am trying to get all the aliens on Steelbook. So I had to get this when I saw it. Nice looking Steelbook. Not crazy about the movie. I'm not, but uh, still an okay watch. And beautiful artwork on the inside as well. And then last but not least, Who Framed Roger Rabbit? Rabbit. So the 25th anniversary, I love the steelbook design on this, embossed as well around you and, the, and the, a couple of the characters and then on the back as well when he's busting through the wall. It is a few little light marks on it but not that bad and a pretty good price for this indeed. And Jessica Rabbit as well. But there. So that is what I picked up. So it's quite a lot this week. Probably won't be picking up quite a lot now until... I probably go to Telford because I'm going to the Telford Wales Comic Con in Telford. I am in on the 14th of May. I think it is around that time. It is so I'll have to you know, curb on spending until I go up there and see what's up there to pick up. But yeah, that's a nice little haul for this week, and uh, yeah, very uh, happy with what I picked up. If you like this video, give it a thumbs up, leave a comment below, and tell me what you've picked up this week. I like to know what some people like to pick up when they uh, go out and about. And if you'd like to see more videos, I guess, please subscribe to my channel. And I'll see you next time.